afternoon. So we're gonna do now the science experiment, force and motion exploration. So first, we're gonna define what is force, motion, and distance. So motion is may be defined as the change of object object position as caused by putting it a force respect to a reference point so force is initiate and influence motion by pulling it pushing it or blowing it and so the last one but not the least distance distance should be measured by measuring tools including ruler meter stick tape measure wooden uh measuring wheel ultrasonic distance measure so our materials are ruler since we have no masking tape we're gonna use double-sided tape and a toy car and small booklet because we have no books and this is called in the Filipino as Holland and we're gonna use this big book as friend so reference point labeled A so we're, after we okay so the first we put a force is small ball next the toy car and next the notebook or book so every object we're gonna put it a force like blowing it next is pushing it and next placing it on the ramp and so we're gonna after the object stops we're gonna measure it by a ruler or meter stick from uh, we're gonna measure the distance from re reference point up to where it stops so now we're gonna apply it a force by blowing it the small ball oh, it's so hard So there it, there it stops. We're gonna blow now the toy car. Okay, same force at, as it applied. The small ball. Now, next is we're gonna apply a blowing in this notebook. I don't think so that it'll, it will move, but let's try. Nothing works. Next, as I said, after we blow it, we're gonna now pushing it. Let's try pushing. Remember, uh, what same force if you apply to others. Same force you apply to others. Next, toy car. Okay. So next, the book. Okay. Next, as I said, after some several procedures, now we're gonna use the ramp. So first, toy ball. Oh, it's longer. So long. So next, uh, toy car. <coughs> So we're gonna put it in ramp and go. Oh, so long. Longer than the ball. Now the notebook. I don't think so. This will work. I like a long. Okay, start. Uh, it's too slow. Now, since the small ball bounced back at the wall, we will know that the ball is further than the toy car. So this, so this is our result. We're gonna convert this tabulation into meters. The shape and the 
weight of the object affects motion. The uh, the lighter it, the lighter object, the further it moves. Round objects like small ball and toy car with wheels will move faster. While notebooks like flat and no wheels will stay the same. Or even if you pull it on a ramp, it will move. Because it slides. Okay, so this is the end of the video. Okay, so this is our final tabulation. So for this question, which action causes all the movements, uh, all the objects move? Uh, force. It, the answer is pushing and putting it into ramp. Number two. What do you think this action causes movement? Because you will put some force and motion like pushing it and put it in a ramp putting in a ramp the ramp is going to down if you put it on top it will slide down so that is the answer for number two and number three which among the objects is hardest to move and the easiest to move why the hardest to move is notebook and the easiest is a uh, small ball. Why? Because if the object is lighter, the further uh, and the obje if the object is lighter and is, and it's round, the it's further it it moves. So Number four, what did you measure to ensure that objects move? Uh, what did you measure to ensure that objects move from one place to another? Uh, we, we measure the distance of the object from the reference point until where it stops. So that's the answer for number four. And number five, what is the importance of point A in determining the movement of the object? Point A is also known as our reference point, where it's that is the also known as starting point. And when we put the object in the starting point, and when you apply the force, you will know that this uh, so. If the, where an object stops, you will know the distance from the reference point up to where it stops. So, no more questions. So, bye-bye. I hope you have learned something. Again, this is me, Aster, Victor, B. Seroy, from grade, grade 5 Apitong, Science Investigator.